Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lions Den with another news and commentary. Hey, er, hey, YouTube, how are you? I know it's been a while since I did a video. Um, I've been mad busy. I've been doing a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on with me. Good things are happening. I'm working on projects left and right. So, you know, but I'm going to do a lot of stories on YouTube that's never, ever going to stop. So this article comes from Atlanta Black Star. Now, this situation reminds me of my situation, and I'm going to, I'm going to explain later. But this article comes from the Atlanta Black Star. Um, it says, are you stupid? White NC trooper pressures black woman out of the car and reportedly grabs her grabs her by neck in traffic stop. A black North Carolina woman stopped for allegedly running a red light was allegedly grabbed by the neck and pulled to the back of her vehicle in an incident she is calling excessive force. Sharice Jones, 37, told ABC 11 her 15-year-old daughter was in the back seat of her car when North Carolina Highway Patrol Trooper Zachary Baumgartner pulled her over at about 9.30 p.m. Thursday on Jones Sausage Road near Raleigh, North Carolina. The trooper told her she had run a red light, to which Jones replied that she thought the light was yellow, the news station reported. He said, my life was green. Are you stupid? Jones told ABC 11. And he said, do you comprehend what I'm saying? She told another news outlet she started recording her encounter because the trooper's words were laced with venom. And after the incident, Jones posted a video on Facebook Live. In the video, Baumgartner can be heard asking Jones to get out of her car. Why would I need to step out of the car, she asked. Because I asked you to, Baumgartner responded. Why? I don't feel comfortable, Jones says. That's fine, Baumgartner responded. You're recording now, so you're more than comfortable. No, I'm not comfortable, Jones says. She refused to get out of the car and asked the trooper to stop flashing his flashlight in the back of her car. There's a minor, Jones said. You pull me out this car and I swear to God I'm going to call a lawyer immediately. Baumgartner said he had a right to ask Jones to step out of the car and cited the Supreme Court decision of Pennsylvania v. Mims in doing so. You're going to step out or you're going to jail, Baumgartner was heard saying in the video. Jones said she got out of the car. Baumgartner tried to pull her to the back away from her daughter. Okay. Um, I went to get back in the vehicle. That's when he grabbed me by my neck and pulled me to the back of the vehicle. That's when you hear me yelling for help, Jones told WRAL on Monday. And this is Sharice Jones, the woman, you know, was saying that the state trooper grabbed her by the neck after she refused to get out of the car. In the decision, Baumgartner re re referenced the U.S. Supreme Court reversed a lower court's decision that police officers violated the Fourth Amendment and illegally seized a driver's revolver when police required the man to get out of the car and identify himself on a traffic stop. When police asked the driver to step out of his car, they noticed a large bulge under his jacket that turned out to be the weapon. The Supreme Court found that the officer was justified in making the search once he observed the bulge because the facts available to the officer at the moment of the seizure or the search warrant a man of reasonable caution in the belief that action taken was appropriate. Baumgartner said in the video of the recent encounter that he was outnumbered in the incident and asked Jones to get her out of the car. It's unclear whether the satisfied standard applied in Pennsylvania v. Mims, but Pete Rubio, a retired police officer who trains officers in police procedure, told WRAL he believed that the trooper could have done more to de-escalate the situation. The officer doesn't articulate his 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 nest, I'm sorry, his necessity to have her step out. Ruby, Rubio told the news station there, there needs to be some further questioning on why the officer is asking her to step out of the vehicle. He should articulate for her safety and for his so he can talk to her. 
Jones, who otherwise had no criminal record, was charged with resisting arrest, WRAL reported. I'm a four foot ten. I pose no threat to him, she told the station. He should be accountable for his actions. Highway Patrol spokesman First Sergeant Michael Baker and Wake County District Attorney Lauren Freeman told the news station they are reviewing the incident. Baumgartner was also the first law enforcement officer on the scene when Kyron Hinton, a black woman, was beaten and attacked by a police dog in April 2018, WRAL reported. And that is the end of the article. See, th this situation reminds me of my wife and my situation. Similar. Only difference is that the state trooper didn't grab me by the neck. All he did was told me to get out of the car and I complied. Now, now in this situation, this woman did the right thing and said, I would not get out of the car. Why would I get out of the car? And the thing of it is that the, the officer grabbed her by the neck. She shouldn't, he shouldn't even did that. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play this video, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, um, and, and remember, ladies and gentlemen, reaction when I show you the video, but you will hear the audio of this incident. And this is when, um, this, this, this is when she record the entire incident, um, and then post it on her Facebook live. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this and then I'm gonna fi finish the rest of my commentary. Why would I need to step out of the car? Because I'm asking you to. Well, why? I'm I don't feel comfortable. That's fine. Uh, okay. You're recording now, so you're, you're more than comfortable. No, I'm not comfortable. I'm asking you to step out. For what reason? Because I didn't do anything. You've given me a ticket because I ran a red light. So give me the ticket. That's it. Out. I'm not stepping out the car. Okay. You're going to step out or you're going to go to jail? For what? What, what am I going? Resisting. All right. I just told you, Pennsylvania versus Mims. It's a Supreme Court case decision. You don't need to flash the flashlight back there. I'm just talking. Okay, yeah, but don't flash it's it back there. Yeah, don't flash the flashlight Pennsylvania versus Mims allows okay. me to but say what, step for out what the reason? Like, doesn't it doesn't matter. What do you if mean I, it doesn't if, matter? There's three of you in the car to speak yes, with me. two of us. Can you not see? Who the hell do okay. you see over there? There's, there's two, yes, two in the people there's, in the car. There's a, a minor. There's a minor. You pull me out this car, and, and I swear to God that I, I'm going to call a lawyer That's fine. immediately. I've just told you Pennsylvania versus Mims. It's I told you. I want you to step out. That's Why? all I need. For what reason? That's all I need. What reason? You're about to go to jail. Okay. You just got to step out. That's all you got to do. Okay. Step out there. Oh, no. Absolutely. Nope. Come back in the car. Go <laughs> back. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was, um, basically, that is the woman, Sharice Jones, who recorded the incident uh, and posted it on Facebook Live after what happened with this North Carolina State Trooper allegedly grab her neck, you know, and, and, and grab her neck to get out of the car after she refuses to do so. Now, I've never known any state trooper that reaches a Supreme Court decision of, well, do after that Supreme Court decision, I have a right to do what you do. You don't have no right to do anything. Now, the thing is, is that, you know, Sharice Jones has every right to maintain a vehicle unless there's probable cause. There is no probable cause in this situation. And so now you, you got in this situation and, and obviously, l luckily, nothing happened. Luckily, that the 50 year old daughter didn't get hurt. Neither did she. Because obviously things would turn even uglier if, if of course, if things even escalate even more. So, ladies and gentlemen, it shows that this, this state trooper, we don't know what's going to happen. I, I think that they're going to let him slide like they always do. Um, basically, they're going. I guess they're going to request leave uh, with leave with pay, and I think that until the investigation is complete, 
But it shows that when it comes to state troopers, law enforcement officers, we as ADOSers, we as black people in general, need to be careful because it, if it, I mean, it happened to me and my wife. We got stopped by a, a Tennessee state trooper. Things could have been escalated when the state trooper asked me to get out of, out of our car and we didn't even know why. So it's scary that the situation, the situation could have got worse. And again, we have to be vigilant. We, we have to be in our P's and Q's. Things could happen. And this is what's so scary about this story. And again, luckily, you know, um, luckily Sharice Jones and her daughter is okay. Again, if things were escalated, escalated even worse, bad things may happen. Y'all let me know what you think about this. Like, click, subscribe, and remember to click the notification bell for all the, all the news and commentary. And with that being said, this is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.